Hi everyone, this is Ben. Uh, I was asked on the Hobby Shop Dungeon group to talk a little bit about this map, the, the X map that will come with um, with uh, the Wilderness expansion of the Marmoral Tomb. And specifically about this village there, the Torp. And well, Torp uh, is a small village that is really at the frontier of, I mean, beyond the, the frontiers of civilization. What you're seeing here, the range of mountains, is the Bitter Peaks. And the Bitter Peaks are a natural uh, frontier, north, northern frontier for the Visconti of Poi, right? You can see here. And so, Torp is a village of. Uh, Foresters and people who are doing uh, logging and uh, who are uh, basically living in the middle of the wilderness. Um, the name Thorpe uh, is uh, an homage, uh, a kind of mirror for a classic module, uh, uh, which is uh, the village of Homlet. And it could, I placed the village there. Uh, with only uh, just at the edge of the green wood there because if you wanted to run something like the Temple of Elemental Evil or if you wanted to insert classic stuff like this on this map you could, it's, but I, it's encouraged actually and Thorp could, uh, could be used as a starting village a base of operation it could also be the base of operation to explore the lost city that which you see at, up north there and that is a stand-in which you could develop for yourself in your campaign. Uh, or uh, use the Lost City of Gaxmoor from uh, Ernie Gygax and Luke Gygax. Uh, so you can see uh, this, uh, uh, the Dwarven runes uh, are basically could be the location of the Marmoral Tomb. That's the location by default, but you don't have to use it uh, if you don't want to. Uh, Chrome Kemlock is the starting village for the Marmoral Tomb and for Nestor Fo Nestor's Folly. Uh, Nestor's Folly is the Hobby Shop dungeon itself, right? Uh, the Haunted Halls, that's uh, a module that will uh, be published later. Uh, and you can see, oh, that's uh, Akkadian runes. Could be a set of runes in the, in the wild, in the, the, the swamp of the wild that you could describe yourself, or uh, it could be a stand-in for the, the caverns of, Th of Thracia, um, or uh, any, anything. You see, the, the point here was to, to include some uh, locations that are described in the wilderness expansion, but which you can use as plugs as well to insert your own uh, uh, other modules or classics uh, game material. The Frontier Keep, if you look at its location on the river and the kind of X it occupies, I think you can figure out what, what you could use it for in terms of classic modules, right? Uh, and and that's that works a bit like that everywhere, right? In the sense that um, there's gonna be stuff included, uh, the, the, like uh, descriptions of these locations, but they will be loose enough that you you can plug classic stuff on it, or uh, you can uh, describe these locations uh, for your own campaign, however you want. And that's a bit how it uh, it works here. So here's about Torp, now village of uh, foresters, loggers, uh, people, and they 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 also have a, a strong uh, uh, guard, a few adventurers too, because. Obviously, a village like this needs some protection. Here you go. So, this is the first of these little uh, videos. And here's hoping you like it. And we'll talk, uh, we'll talk more later. Let me know uh, in the comments if you like it or if, uh, yeah, however you like it. All right. Goodbye. Talk later.